Okay, let's go over and figure out how to find the surface area of this composite figure, this barn, okay? And it's made up of lots of different shapes. And what I like to do is just break it down into the shapes and then add everything up. So let's get started. I'm going to move this up because if not, I'll run out of room. Okay, so first we have this rectangle and we have one on this side and the other. So I'm going to draw two rectangles. And it's going to be 7 by 8. And both of these are 7 by 8. So we have this side. Now let's look at, we have uh, this side. And we have one here and here. And it looks like it's 8 uh, by 8. That's an 8, by the way. Okay, and so we have an 8 by an 8. Okay, so, so far we've gotten this side and this side. Now, what about this triangle? Well, we have to do a little bit of work. Well, if we draw a line there, uh, we know that we can figure out the dimensions because this line is given and it's 14 and it's 8 to here. So if we take 14 minus 8, that's going to give us 6. So the height of the triangle is 6 and then the base is 8. So we have a triangle that has a height of 6 and we know the formula is 1 half base times height. So that is going to be 1 half times the base times the height. Okay and then we have two of these and then finally we have the roof and the roof is, am I still on here? Yeah, the roof looks like it's 12 by 6, and we have two of these, okay? So now all we do is now start multiplying and getting the area of each of these triangles and adding them up, okay? Okay, to speed things up just a little bit, I went ahead and wrote in, if we multiply 8 times 7, that's going to be 56. 8 times 7 is 56. These are going to be 64. One half base times height. It was one half eight times the height. So it's basically eight times six and half of that is 24. And then six times 12 is 72. So now what we do now is let's just um, start adding everything together. And since we have two, I'm just going to multiply everything by two. So 56 times two is 112. 64 times 2 is 128. Um, 24 times 2 is 48. And then we have 72 times 2, and that's 144. Remember, all of these are centimeters squared because surface area is always squared. And then when we add all this together, that equals 432 centimeters squared. So the surface area of this barn, it's a small little barn because it's in centimeters, uh, it's a toy barn, is going to be 432 centimeters square. I hope that was helpful, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.